let's let's play from here good ladies and gentlemen this is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel part 21 2772 part 2 Today we set out to expand our cadences for the 2772 composition into elaborate arpeggios and figures. And helping us do that was we were listening to other music, and in particular we listened to a and watched a score by Domenico Scarlatti. And if you notice here, bum, 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 he's got chords down here, but and they're arpeggios. They're broken into separate notes, but together they make a chord. <clears throat> but he's also using octaves of the chord, like down there. And uh, I don't read the bass clef very well, but he's using octaves. And so we decided to do that here, and you can see that here, for example, you have a C and a C, and they're playing the octave. So we took the cadences that we started with here, which sounded like this, and then we, we left that in the first measure, but then we arpeggiated it. And the fun thing that happened is that we, as we arpeggiated and listened, we composed by listening, we said, well, sometimes, you know, this chord here had a, a C and a D and an A, but we didn't start on the bottom note. We, picked, we decided to start on the next note, the D. And then since we already used the D, we're no longer allowed to use it. We have to use the other two notes, which are C and an A. But one of those notes is going to get doubled. So in this case, we made the C be doubled. Now that was a C27 chord. And when we came back to a C27 chord somewhere here, instead of starting on the D like we did up there, uh, we and doubling the C, we decided to start on an A and double the D. And when we do that, we get a different sound effect from the same cadence. So, that's C27, but this is what it sounds like down here. Uh, then we did that with some other chords. For example, um, here's a G43 entering on a B and doubling the D. But here we double the G. And so it gets a different melody feel and a different harmony feel. So we thought that was pretty neat. So um, we pretty much did that. And we were able to complete all six lines, 14 bars each, by repatterning and revoicing the cadence chords. And by revoicing, we mean sometimes not only did we uh, double the notes, but sometimes the, the starting note got jumped. Uh, where's an example of that? Let's show you a quick example of that. The um, Here. This chord has a, has a B flat down here, but when we revoiced it, we jumped it way up there to a, an entire octave. And, and it sounded good. The second thing we did then, uh, we went back and looked at our original backbone, like here. The original backbone was B-flat. Let's see, that's that's line 23. Right. 21, 22, right here, that's 23. So that's B-flat, 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 B-flat. But here we're going B-flat. D, B flat, B 
being flat octave. So we're adding these extra backbone notes, and they're on the off the upbeat. These backbones are on the downbeat. These backbones are on the upbeat. So we're getting a little syncopation in there. Um, because we picked this backbone note to equal what we doubled up here by our choice. So that gave us a de facto secondary backbone notes, we call that. And then and then we spent a little bit saying, are we done? Um, in general, the overall series. And so we went back and we reviewed all of the, uh, well, the, the latest work we've done and kind of copied and pasted notes. And we sort of have a tenet of, you know, how do we know when we're done with the series? And um, yeah, but when and by what criteria do we declare complete on this series? And we thought maybe we're done when we add a break composition. I don't know. We'll find out. You know, stay tuned for that part. And uh, what might we do next? Um, Let's, let's get that shadow projection idea back in there and let's get that sea change idea back in there. And this would be what we would call composition from pattern. We were doing, where were we doing that? Yeah. I don't know why it was there. Anyway, that's some of our ideas for next steps. So what we want to do is, as usual, play for you these parts. But this time we're going to play um, the original cadence because it's fast. And we heard this once already. And then, uh, then we'll play the variation using cadences. So here we go. First part. Okay, and now here is what it like sounds like when we added uh, arpeggios and extra backbone notes. So that concludes the stream, ladies and gentlemen, and tune in next time to see where we go next. We do appreciate your time and attention. Shout out to DM and Isaac and ZD for, uh, oh my God, and YH and Billy for uh, tuning in. And we will see you next time. And as always, Keep on streaming.